Good morning, brothers and sisters. Grace and peace to you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. To all blessings flow. Uh, all glory and honor to our Lord Jesus Christ. All glory to the Most High Yahuwah, Yahweh, Yahweh. Hallelujah. I love each and every one of you brothers today on Men of Majesty page. Fit to fight for Christ. I love you all, brothers and sisters, my beloved. I uh, just wanted to go ahead and uh, go over a word here with you guys. Um, there's been a popular thing in a lot of churches and a lot of things going on in Western society and throughout the world regarding the culture, the culture that we live in in, in this world where it's okay to come to Jesus and, and pretty much stay the way you are and not be transformed um, you know, you could you could still um, be, be a homosexuality, um, still practice homosexuality and still have these feelings and not be transformed, which through the word of God says um, is a is a reprobate mind, you know, to 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 be, uh, you know, uh, coming into Christ and not being transformed. But, you know, staying in your own mindset, in your own flesh is to be of a reprobate mind. That means that you, and then also it's double mindedness as well, because you can't have the mind of Christ and have the mind of the world as, uh, as well. So when you come to Christ, you are to be transformed. I mean, I don't, it's more than just homosexuality. This covers, um, alcoholism. This covers, um, any type of, uh, sexuality that you're doing outside of the will of God in marriage between a man and a woman because that's what marriage is. That's what produces life. Um, the homosexuality lifestyle, the LGBTQ lifestyle, whatever lifestyle they want to call it, it does not produce life. And it's destructive um, in the black neighborhoods, in the black people community. Um, you see BET promoting this heavily. Uh, um, and, it, and it's sad, man, because a lot of Christian artists in the Christian industry believe that it's okay to be to, you know, you could be married to your man, your husband, and then you could still um, like woman and have those feelings and desires, which is totally false. Um, that is a that is a reprobate mind. That is a a um, that is an abominable uh, abomination mindset. And that's double mindedness. It's a hip. It's a hypocrisy, because when you become the Christ, it says here in Romans 12 two, Paul says, do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewal of your mind in that testing. You may discern what is the will of God, what is good and what is acceptable and perfect. You know, the Bible does not waver on these things. The Bible doesn't, doesn't just choose one side and, and don't address the other. The Bible address sexuality as a whole, anything that's outside of the will of God's um, intended purpose for procreation and to producing life is an, is, is a, is a direct um, disobedience and it's it's not the will of God. It's a perverted it's a perverted thought process. It's a perverted agenda, and it has no um, it has no uh, how do you say it? It doesn't belong anywhere in the world. Not even in the church. Not anywhere in the world. It's not it's not what God's intended purpose was. You see, Satan has entered into this world and has deceived many people. Satan always uh, gave out of, gave people. The mindset of you could do what you want to do. There's no repercussions. There's no uh, there's consequences of what you do, which is false. He's leading people to hell. He's into the church. He's the spirit of the Antichrist is running wild in his church in the world. And they're causing people to stumble and fall. They're causing Christians to not agree on what the Bible says, to, to doubt what the word of God says and to come against it. In a whole, it gives people who are standing um, firm in the word of God. But we said that this would happen. There will, in the last days, there will be many that fall away that will believe the, the itching ear preaching um, and, and rather believe in the truth and then accept, uh, accept a lie and call the truth a lie and a lie truth. We're in these days, we're in perilous times, brothers and sisters. You know, many people are going to fall away. Um, I believe that this is what we need to do as brothers and men of God. We need to get in prayer. We need to pray for people. We need to pray for uh, people to be truly born again by the spirit and to be renewed and to be uh, transformed, regenerated in their hearts. You know, we're not I'm not out here trying to um, put nobody down because we all fall short. We all have issues. Right. But when the devil is directly coming into the house of God and he's trying to teach these things and try to blend them in. Blend culture in with Bible, 
we got to put our foot down, brothers and sisters, man of God, especially the men of God. We need to put our foot down because that's a direct attack against what the word of God says. You know, we do not conform to the to the wicked ways of this world. We do not blend in traditions of men. We do not blend in the, the, the sexual immorality, whether you're going out, whatever you're a straight man and you're sleeping around with women, that's still wrong. You know, that's still wrong. You're going around there becoming one with with many women. And you're causing um, a lot of different hurt, a lot of different trauma. You're causing pain in, in relationships. And you're, used, you're also causing for yourself to fall. And you're sinning against yourself as well. And you're sinning against the most high. So we need to we need to have a sit down conversation, a live stream with all the brothers, um, the top of the brothers here, uh, the elders, um, David Lee Williams, Todd Fontana, Dustin Stoll, Ola Emanuel, um, we need to sit down. We need to sit down and have a conversation, a live stream on what the culture is doing and, and what we as men of God we need to do in our culture and in our areas to try to help our brothers and sisters and lead them to the truth. I know a lot of you guys are, are preaching the message. You guys are standing on word, but we need to have a conversation because this is something that's very um, serious in the body of Christ that is in the churches, is in the churches. You know, you got um pastors and, 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 and things like that, promoting this this false doctrine of um, you can stay the way you are, you don't have to change, and that the Bible is contradicting uh, about things about homosexuality, which is an absolute lie, and that's a lie from hell, and we rebuke that in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to go over here real quick. I'm about to head on to church in a moment, but I just wanted to drop on here real quick. It says here, 1 Peter 1.14, it says, as obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance. Ephesians 4, 22 to 20, uh, 4, to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt uh, through deceitful desires and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds and to put in a new self created after the likeness of God in a true righteousness and holiness. Right. It tells you that. Those deceitful desires is what we have in our mind when before we come to Christ. You know, we still battle those things every day in the flesh. But as you become more in Christ and as you become more filled, if you become filled with the Holy Spirit and you focus and you set your minds on the things of the most high Yah, those desires will fall away from you. That's not what God intended for you to be. He did not intend for you to like another man. He did not intend for you to go around sleeping around with every woman you want. He did not intend a woman to have the desires of, of sexual um, attraction to another woman. That's just not his design. That's just not what he intended to be. There is no, you cannot create life. You cannot c continue the human race to keep going in that mindset, in that lifestyle. It doesn't produce life. It produces death. You cannot tell me that having a same-sex marriage or same-sex relationship produces anything good. It just, it just, all it does is just um, gives you pleasure of your desires, the wicked, carnal, fleshly desires of our flesh. That's why we need to be born again through the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. All glory to the Most High Yah. We need to be born again through the Spirit. That's why we need to be transformed. You say people want to come to Jesus and you still want to have these same feelings. That's a lie from hell. That is the Antichrist spirit entering to the church, entering to the body of Christ. And we rebuke that. We cast that down. We throw that out in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And it says, therefore, in 2 Corinthians 5, 7, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new uh, has become your new creature in Christ. Once you come in Christ, you're not supposed to stay the same. You're not going to you're, you're going to have some issues. You may have things that you need to work on daily. That's what sanctification process is constantly transforming, renewing. But that's how you get you get closer to God through prayer, fasting, reading his word being around other believers to encourage you and, and, and boost you up and push you up. That's what we we're supposed to do. We are supposed to encourage our brothers and sisters and, and build them up, be around godly men, masculine men, manly men, you know, not, not somebody that's a pastor that still 
got got the got struggling with homosexual desires or something like that because you're not going to learn anything. You're not going to grow through that spirit. That spirit eventually is going to manifest and, and play on you. Although he may be a man of God, he may be a, a so-called man of God and he preached the word, but that spirit is still is still in him. And there's no power in that spirit. You have to have the, the spirit. Uh, we serve the Lord God in spirit and truth. That's what we're supposed to do. So it's got to be from the inside. Those desires, those wicked passions, you got to destroy them. You got to cast them down. You're never going to grow as a man or woman of God when you have these lustful thoughts and these perverted thoughts that constantly rage in your head. Any type of anger, uh, malice, uh, deceit, um, you know, greed, fornication, adulterers, none of those things will enter into the kingdom of God. If you're an adulterer, a fornicator, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's more than just homosexuality. If you're out there sleeping around with women and you're cheating on your wife and you're and you're masturbating and doing things like that, watching pornography, all that stuff is wicked in the eyes of God. It is a perversion. God did not incre- create you to, to, to fornicate with yourself and to play with yourself or to play with toys or to play with dolls or anything like that. The Most High created you for your wife. He wanted you to be set apart. If you're not married, he wanted you to be set apart for him and keep your body pure from, from, from all kind of wickedness and evilness. You know, and, I, and, and you know, people may get mad, but hey, so be it. I don't care. I'm standing on the word of God, man. We have so much corruption. The world and the United States government has become Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what we live in. We are the we are the uh, spearing head for a, a, a abomination, adultery, fornication. All these leaders who own the, own all these companies in this world, we know where y'all come from, and I see you, and I know, and I'm studying you. I know what y'all doing to our people. I know what you're doing to the black race. I know what you're doing to all races. You're causing confusion. You're causing division, and you're causing genocide. By pushing these agendas of homosexuality, abortion, all these things that go against the will of God. And I know where that spirit comes from. That is from the spirit of the devil. And I rebuke you and I cast you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will have no grounds here. No grounds here. And, I, and, and I'm going to stand firm on the word of truth. And I'm going to continue to learn and live the word of truth. My brothers, all y'all on this page, y'all better wake up. I know you guys are awake. But just just double take. Listen to what I'm telling y'all. We in a war right now. This is a spiritual war and we need warriors. We need men, manly men of God, of valor. That's going to stand like soldiers in the army of the Lord. We are in the army of the Lord. This is a war, a spiritual war. They're trying to the devil is trying to infiltrate and destroy us. Time to be bold, brothers and sisters. And most of, most importantly, my men, my men are men of majesty, fit to fight for Christ. All of us, we're going to stand strong. We need to have this conversation. The video that we do, if we do a, a video on a, a, a group chat, on live stream, we need to address this subject in the culture of the, the, the homosexuality, the, the, the sex, the sex of crazy stuff right now, the fornication and all that stuff, adultery, cheating on wives. We need to address all these things, abortion. We need to address, address these things because that is that is actually all these things are on the ballot. And I'm not even in political. I don't even vote. But if you guys vote, you need to vote by the Holy Spirit. You need to let the Holy Spirit be your guide. And when you make that decision, when you put your hands down on that on that paper, when you go to that voting booth, you need to say, am I going to, if is my decision based on the word of God or is it based off my own feelings and my will? Remember, brothers and sisters, we are in a war. The devil's not playing. He's, he, he wants to take a bunch of people with him. Stand firm and stand uh, bold and don't fear. Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yahusha. I love each and every one of you soldiers, every one of you men of God. I love you guys. You guys have a great day. Have a blessed day. I know this was a little rough, but I had to get into this. It was it was in my spirit, and I had to I had to let you guys know that we need to stand bold. God is telling me to tell us to stand bold, and we're gonna have to push back and destroy this wicked agenda that the Satan is trying to put in place. He has no power. We have the power of the Holy Ghost. 
They don't have no power. The devil has no power. Hallelujah. We have power. If we walk in authority, we walk in truth, and we stand in truth, we have the authority through the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I love each and every one of you, brothers. Till next time, y'all have a great day. Enjoy your beautiful Sunday. Peace and blessings to you.